The year 2020 has been so full of turmoil. There's been all kinds of natural disasters. We were having a very tumultuous election. The pandemic has been with us since March. So I try to find solace in the places that give me the most peace. And one of those places is down at the barn with my four-legged friends. And each one of those four-legged friends reminds me of something that has been important to me in 2020. And I'd like to introduce you to Rion. Rion had a rough start in life. She was a horse that was used as a draft horse pulling logs in Alabama. But Rion has done very well and she overcame those early challenges in her life. And she also survived two surgeries with the vet school. And what she brings to mind to me when I see her, and I'm down here in the barn thinking about the impact of 2020, I think about the fact that she represents to me resilience and grit and determination. And so that's what I think of when I enjoy Rion. Is it good? Is it good? Yes, it is. It is good, isn't it? You're such a good girl. I'd also like to introduce you to Dolly. Come on over here, Dolly. Dolly is a therapeutic horse, a former therapy horse. Now, she's a whole lot older now, so she's semi-retired. But the thing about Dolly is I look at her and I think about how she represents caring. And the good thing about it is no matter what rider is on her, she takes care of her rider. And we need to think about that in life. As 2020 hits us, so many people have been impacted by the pandemic and so many of the other disasters that have hit and the turmoil of the election. And for me, Dolly represents a fine model of being able to care for the people around you. So Dolly, would you like it? This is Brunka. She's an Icelandic horse, and she used to be a star at Star, which is the, the Shangri-La Therapeutic Riding Academy. And they wanted to get her retired because she's 30 years old. You know, she may be old and little, but she's pretty mighty in her mind. Okay. And let me tell you a little story about how she ended up here on the farm. When my associate dean, Dr. Steyer, and part of our dean staff went to visit Shangri-La about volunteer activities, they asked him about Brunka. He said, do you know anybody who would be willing to take an elderly Icelandic horse and give her a retirement home? And do you know what he said? He said, Dr. Beale will do it. She'll adopt anything with four legs. And it took me two months of resisting before I finally gave in. I took one look at her and I thought, okay, she's a sweetheart. So Brunka, come on over here. And when I see Brunka, you know what I think of? I think of the fact that even though you're old and even though you're little, in her head, she's a mighty horse. So you should never let anybody compromise your dreams and tell you you can't achieve anything. So that's the message I get from Brunka every time I see her. You didn't like that too much? Okay. And then this is Seamus. Seamus is my little man, okay? He is full of fun and he's a jokester. And Seamus reminds me that no matter what the year brings you, you need to have a little bit of fun. And keep the fun in your life, enjoy those moments. Don't be looking behind you, don't be looking ahead of you too far ahead. Enjoy the present and celebrate each day because the future is not guaranteed. And the thing that represents the promise of this new year coming up to me is this little man here. He is a baby zebu. And zebus are a very disease resistant, tough, hardy species of cattle. Um, they like hot weather. They don't mind the heat at all. They're, they're very fly resistant. They're very disease resistant. And to me, that represents how we have to be when we start going into 2021. He's only four months old, and he's got his whole life in front of him. So happy holidays from Three Sisters Farm. And it's named Three Sisters Farm because we operate it with two sisters. And this is a time for us to reconnect with family and replenish your souls 
and enjoy everything that we're thankful for because I am absolutely certain that 2021 is gonna be the best ever.